Are you stopping on the zebra crossing? Is that because you're on camera? She's so oh, she's shocked, like someone stopped. She's like, well, well, why are you, what are you, what are you stopping for? She's like, well, well, what are you stopping for? What's going on? I didn't stop on the zebra crossing the traditionally. Guy behind me is annoyed and did that. What's that? The guy behind me is annoyed and did that. She just flashed me. Yeah, so she got flashed because she let someone go on a zebra crossing. People get angry at you. This guy's got a car, right? And you know, obviously, there's some other things going on, but. Someone, some of the, someone's letting, vandalizing um, uh, Joshua's bike. They're laying down his tires, right? Uh, so there's some animosity towards the family because they are, you know, the family's doing very well. They've got a house, they've got internet, they've got TVs, they've got a car, you know. So I think there's a bit of jealousy from the other cousins, right? Is that right, love or not? Yeah. And someone's actually. Really when we had a car. Yeah. So when they got a car, it was like a big deal. It was like. Yes. It's a Ford, it's a full drive, it's a good car. It's a, it's a good enough car. Anyway, so the story is that, um, the story is that someone's van, so there's some jealousy within the family because obviously Jessica's got this car, and, you know, I don't know, Jessica's got a little bit of money, and you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But someone's vandalizing stuff, so we've been told to get them out. So we've been told who it is, right? But we, we don't know if we believe who told us who it is. Anyway, it's all days of our lives, gossip, drama, 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 but someone is vandalizing. There's some animosity there, some jealousy, so. Yeah. Cousins are like, oh, you've got all this money. How come you're not giving us money? Like, these are the cousins, right? So they're like, oh, you've got all this money. Why don't you give us money? You know what I mean? Like, if you have money, why don't you give us money? So it's that, it's that crab mentality where they pull, pull you down, right? Like, uh, they're trying to climb. So when you see a Filipino, that's why they're all sending their money home because it's the family, bro. They're sending the money home. But Jessica helps her family, but her family's not like that. Everyone works. Everyone's fine. They don't ask us for anything. So Jessica's family's really not like that, you know. So yeah, her immediate that's family. Only, that's why what my parents say. They're they're not they're not lucky in life. They're just that's what my mom said that like that. They're just lucky they have uh, kids that uh, care about them. And, Working hard to, you know, give them a better life. Yeah. So what happens is, let's say someone loses that job, right? Let's say someone in their house. So how many of us are living there? 15, 16 of us, right? So let's say someone loses their job. Say Philman loses his job or whatever. Or let's say one of them loses their job. Everyone's eating, bro, because the food's communal. You know what I mean? So when we buy food, so we made spaghetti last night, right? That's communal spaghetti. That feeds all 16 of us, right? So do you know what I mean? The food's communal. Everyone's eating, bro. Everyone's eating, yeah, no matter what. Share. Yeah. Everyone's eating, and it's that, that's that's the sense of they don't have insurance and stuff. So the, what they do is someone gets sick, everyone chips in. Like the, that, that's how they get by. Basically, that's how they get by. It's this communal sense of uh, thing. Yeah. What are you saying? What are you, saying? you know how I share my food to you all the time. Yeah. And then you get upset because I you say, oh, I made fast food. You know, I'm not eating. I told you I'm not eating. I'm I'm used to do that because I have so many siblings, and when I eat on my own. I feel bad like I have to share what I have like yeah. I always even if it's the smallest thing it's kind of, it's kind for you to do to, sh to offer you yeah. my parents always say you always offer you just don't eat it straight you offer people around you if they want food yeah all the Filipinos are like that they always yeah, offer yeah that's what, what we're how we're raised and also because I have so many siblings around me I'm used to do that I'm used to sharing my food so and they don't like eating like when you're fasting they, they get really upset right when you're yeah, fasting get really mad they get really upset like, when you're fasting you don't eat and you're like well mate i'm not even fasting Same and then because they think it's because you're poor but the problem is it's a reverse mate it's not that we're poor uh good, good job stopping love good job stopping good job stopping. so it's i'm like it's not that we're poor it's, we have too much there's too much excess so we need to not eat we need to miss some meals you know like we need to fast so I haven't been fasting, that's why I'm so big. If I stop fasting again, I'll be big. If Jessica and I break up, she finds someone else. If she goes, that guy is sending her the money. You right? You know that guy is sending you the money? Oh so if she winds up marrying him, I'll get skinny because I have to find another girl. So I'll get skinny. Right now I'm happy being fat. So yeah. Not that happy, I'm trying to lose weight. 
Would you rather lose weight than be with someone else, though? Oh, it'd be a perk if we broke up, I'd for sure lose weight. Because it will going to be a fairly dating. So you're saying that we're going to I'm gonna try and lose weight. I need try and lose when I when I start jujitsu. Listen, no, no. When I start jujitsu, I'll cut weight. I, I lose weight doing jujitsu. No, no. If I if I can just look, my ideal day is this, right? I get up, right? I go for a little jog around the block. Although I haven't been doing that much because I had the food and drink. But I go for a little jog around the block, right? Or on the sand. I do some power cleans, right? I go to the gym, okay? Then I either go to jujitsu at lunchtime or I go to jujitsu um, at night, right? And I get two massage or a massage, you know, I get a massage in Thailand, um, and then I, I swim in the sea, and then maybe I go to a movie. That would be like be my ideal day. And my ideal day, if I could have one day that I could repeat, it would have Jessica and Samson both with me. They'd both be with me all day, and that would be, you know, I'd get up, I'd lift weights with uh, with uh, with Samson, uh, maybe Jessica, like. Uh, and then that would be my ideal day. That would be the day that I would want to live. I mean, that would be my groundhog day. I'd want to live that over and over and over again. And then we go to jiu-jitsu and I spend the whole day together. We go to a movie. That would be a fun day, right? So guys, please subscribe, share if you like, and hit the notification button so you're always updated with our vlogs. And see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, don't subscribe. I can really care less.